Hi, Islam. Hi, Camilla. How are you doing? Hi, Paul. Doing well, thanks. Good, good. Nice to see you both again. Um, we thought we'd pick up, didn't we, from our uh, workshop at the CCA Festival and continue talking about the whole idea of moving from egocentric to ecocentric uh, framing for life, I guess. And we thought that we would maybe have more of a chat about that and talk about what it means for us individually. So um, it would be great to hear what what do you think that means in reality for you? Yeah, but what I really thought was interesting in, in the previous conversation was how different uh, it shows up for everybody and what people take away from it. But um, for me personally, um, it's really both about, you know, my daily choices in my shopping and I'm not perfect. I really have to add that. It's a journey. But just becoming aware and thinking about it, but also um, thinking about all those responsibilities. What is my role in this whole um, reality? Um, what do I need to do to create change? Mm. I think the word role really stands out for me too, Camilla, because when um, Paul shared that visual of ecocentric and ecocentric, I realized, where do I fit in all of this? Oh my goodness, I am egocentric. As much as I'd like to think that I am ecocentric and I'm so aware of my surroundings, actually I'm pretty aware of my conveniences. And I've been really reflecting since that uh, it was a very powerful conversation, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. It's a real mindset shift. And I think um, as, as well as the day-to-day -day and the so what do I do individually, and we've, we've had some great conversations about that, about just the slightest thing that you can do, even if you're in an environment where there's no recycling or whatever, you know, that, that can be an interesting shift. Um, but I think it's this mind, for me, the mindset shift is huge. It's like we now have the opportunity to not see life as being around humans and our needs and wants and to see the world as a resource for us, which we've done for millennia. Um, and to see it as something that supports us and that we, it's a system of which we are a part. And I think if we have that as a starting point, so much can follow. Yeah. And that's where that image uh, that you refer to Islam was so powerful as well, where the human being is, is a bit lower down, like we're just part of a system. We don't stand on, on top or something like that. Um, so yeah, a visual can make, uh, can really send a powerful image, um, message, sorry, message yeah. as well. Yeah, we, we must upload that somewhere so that everybody could see it. So um, this quick conversation is about the whole concept. It's a massive, massive subject, but it's something that I know we're all keen to take forward and to share with other people. So in a sense, the purpose for this quick chat is to flag up how interested and passionate we are about this and how much we'd love to have conversations with other people about it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'd and love to hear how other people are making that shift. I mean, it's not an easy shift to make because you have so many things available to you, but you also have so many things working against you. So yeah. I'd love to know how, I think that's one, one thing I'm curious about is, how are people making this shift from egocentric to egocentric? So let's talk about that next time. That'd be great. Yeah. Thanks yeah. so much, everybody. Uh, we'll speak again soon. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Bye, Camilla. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.